what's going on y'all conscious one commit you so i'm gonna tell you guys this is very very serious this is a very serious video i like to joke around laugh and all that stuff i, I do a lot of extracurricular stuff on my youtube channel uh because mainly i just like to be myself on my channel i don't do this for views i do this for my own involvement and enlightenment to remind myself who i am every day because we live in a world that's full of illusions and you know when everything is predicated on uh, bringing you back down off your spiritual throne, you know, it takes a lot of energy to stay up, especially when you got a lot of people around you who do not want to see you win. Now, I'm going to say something. It's not going to be long. I want to tell you guys, chosen ones, anointed one. I, I like I like to use the word anointed ones. This is why it can be a problem for Let's say, okay, so I'm anointed. What will be the issue with a woman uh, going out with me? You know, uh, why am I single? Why I don't have children and stuff like this? Why, if a woman does get with an anointed person, why she must be submissive to him? Okay, well, it's because of the uh, the amount of spiritual attack that, let, let's say I'm an anointed one and a, a woman is interested in me and she decides to date me, right? This, I would literally have to sit this woman down and say, do you understand the type of spiritual attack that you're about to come on, come under from being with an anointed, from being with an anointed person? Do you really know? Now, here's the good news. The good news is if a woman was submissive to me, she would get hooked up with almighty God, just like I am. I'm talking about the protection. I'm talking about the prosperity. I'm talking about the miracles done right in front of your enemy's eyes, letting them know, don't play games. Oh, you'll be protected. No, nobody's going to harm you. But are you ready to be like alone? <laughs> well, you're not going to be alone. You know, of course, there's me. If we did have children or you, family, you may it may be one. You may have one friend, one or two friends, maybe another couple, maybe one or two other couples that we could actually like be a. Uh, you know, talk to and stuff like that. And we, we can't say, oh, what, you know, some of y'all think, well, what about going to church? That's where most of the devils are <laughs> in church. 85% of the people going down, y'all. And now it's moved up to 90%. God is ready to destroy 90% of the people y'all see walking around. So if a woman, because I know there are women that like me, they see all the characteristics of me being a, a, a good husband and a good father, but we in the end times and Right now, I have this anointing on me. And people are getting dealt with for playing games with me and all the people who, who got ulterior motives. Guys, I see people on YouTube all over the place. I'm not even going to mention their name. Some people I share links with y'all is not even anointing. You got people out here that, that are talking or trying to talk like I talk, but you still notice they're trying to pimp you. When you have, I told y'all, there are three ways to get hooked up with God. Number one, you got to practice righteousness. Number two, you can't have ulterior motives. Number three, you cannot serve two masters. And here's the, uh, the complexity of this is that if you even do one of those things, you've committed, you, you've got all of them wrong. If you serve two masters, well, guess what? You have ulterior motives and you're not practicing righteousness. Just to do one of those things make you fail in all of them. They all they all connected to each other. The only way you can get hooked up with God is if you practice righteousness, you don't have any ulterior motives and you don't serve two masters, meaning you don't serve money and God. You cannot tell you if you serve money, you serve money. You still belong to the devil. I told y'all all these miracles that y'all see. What, what do y'all think? Why do you think God's showing out? Right in front of y'all and letting y'all see these miracles. I'm straight out the Bible. I'm I'm doing stuff that um like who was it? I can't remember, was it Daniel or somebody, some king, you know, uh I, I can't remember if it was Daniel. Somebody was working for a king and he was charged to let this king know what Almighty God wanted to be done with, with the kingdom. Even though he was the king, he still had to uh deal with an anointed person of God 
because he knew that this person was hooked up with Almighty God. I'm in a I'm in a similar position. There are people who are rich who know that I'm more powerful than them because they know it's not about money. If you do not have the anointing, uh, you're not rich. You just, you know, you have a short period of time. Life is not even really that long. You have a short period of time to make everybody think you the shit and, you know, but that person, you know, money is vanity. You sit around and you want to know who really got the power. There are people who rich who know me, who know I really got the power. I don't have, uh, I'm not rich but I have the real power. I'm hooked up with Almighty God. And they see that. And they're thinking, man, I wonder if I'm hooked up like that. And they know they're not. Because you can't serve two masters. So there, I know that there are rich people out there who will actually come to me to ask me for help. I know it. I know it is. I know they're out there. But getting back to this situation with the relationship. If a woman dated me, she would... I would have to tell her, you, do you know how many people going to turn on you? Your family going to turn on you. Your friends going to turn on you. Your life is going to be totally different. This is why I say a, a woman has to be submissive to an anoint, uh, anointed guy like myself or God fearing. Because if, if you're trying to be with me and then you have this ulterior motive to go out here and pursue your goals. And <laughs> which, I mean, 99% of the people who try to pursue their goals in this world end up failing because, hey, you, you either going to be with God or you're going to be with the devil. That's really the only alter. I, hey, y'all know me. I've been around a lot of celebrities. Once again, why y'all think that I got these powers right now? Because I passed the test. God put me in every single situation. He put me around millionaires, billionaires. He put me, he put me in all kinds of situations. Would you do this? Would you do that? Would you sleep with your friend's wife? I was put through every single situation. Would you sell your friend out for some money? I was put in every single situation and I passed all the tests. Why did I pass all the tests? Because even if I get money, it's vanity. Even if I get to sleep with all these women, all that stuff you get tired of eventually. You can have a bunch of women, you'll wake up one day, you'll be sick of fucking women. You can have a bunch of money, one day you wake up, you know what, I'm sick of having money. I want to I want to know what it feels like to uh, walk through a mall and nobody notices me. I used to pick up celebrities, guys, y'all know that. And one of my main things was that I really didn't sweat them like that. I wanted them, when I used to drive them around, I wanted them to feel like, you know, they was talking to a person who wasn't idolizing them. And what I found out was they actually appreciated uh, me for that. Well, I, mean, I didn't do it on purpose because I really don't idolize celebrities. I mean, I was the only reason I was happy to be hanging around celebrities was that I could tell people, hey, look, look who I'm hanging around. Other than that, you know, I just seen them as, as everyday people. Uh, I, yeah, I still had a job to do, you know, take them around town, stuff like that, you know, because that's how I would want people to treat me if I was a celebrity. Like, please, can I just have, you know, an hour of just peace with, you know, you, my driver, whatever you're doing, my chauffeur. And that's what I would give them. You see. And innately, they knew I was the real star <laughs> innately. They could tell. They recognized the vibes. <laughs> But, um, yeah, if you're a woman and you date a guy like me, you, you're going to your life is not going to be the same. You will find that you will have to be submissive to me. You will have to stay home because you're going to find that a lot. Of, you, you will be under a lot of spiritual attack. And like I said, even though you would have the power uh, from God, you have the same power as I have. It will be granted to you for uh, being submissive to me, being submissive to me, because then you'll be living. Uh, you'll be God fearing just like I am. And you'll be obeying the laws that is ordained for a woman to be a good wife and a mother not a good nine to five worker i already told y'all nine to five a woman that works nine to five can't do nothing for me she can't help me she doesn't have not only she doesn't have the the she won't even have the energy to help me so with me it's like an ultimatum either you be submissive to me and and get hooked up with with with, with the god which i don't see why anybody would want to do whether we're talking about uh relationships or, or me even just friends you know, it's amazing to me. I got all this power, y'all. And you think people, I told y'all, y'all see my name, Salvation. Do I got to look up my name in Jamaica? Y'all don't need to see that again. Y'all don't need to, y'all don't need to see that I'm actually an earth angel, right? Y'all don't need to see all that stuff again. That I'm actually a high ranking Anunnaki. That I'm this. That Y'all don't need to see that again. But you'll think, oh my, man, I got a good hook. You'll think I would have people running to me to try to be my friend. No. No, it's not like that. Because why is it not like that? Because these people are workers of iniquity. And they are afraid. And usually when you're afraid of something, that means you're guilty of something. That's the only people I know 
that are like cowardly and fearful in this world is somebody that's actually guilty of something because the Bible says that uh, uh, God does not give us a spirit of fear. When you got almighty God, you ain't scared. Of, you ain't scared of nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing, you know. But so if a, if a woman was submissive to me, she would actually get the power that I have. But at the same time, she would have to leave her worldly endeavors behind. And a lot, a lot of people, uh, women, are just not ready to do that. Remember, guys, 85% going down. They're not going to make it to these higher realms. 85%. Okay, remember, Joseph Chapelon, white guy from Australia. Only six, I'll say it again, only 650 million out of 8 billion are viable right now. And the number fluctuates. It's no joke, guys. When it, when the Bible talks about a narrow path, it's a narrow path. Okay, it's a very narrow path. I probably only got one or two people I can actually call and depend on out here, guys. Other than that, I'm to, I, it's all God and the holy angels protecting me. But y'all see the power. So I just wanted to say that, you know, that's what would happen if a woman dated me. She, yeah, she would get the power too. But you have to be ready to leave your worldly endeavors behind. Or is a woman ready to do that just to go out with me? Most women are not. They still want to believe in what this world has to give them, which is nothing. Because I can show them pictures of me going around in Lamborghinis. I can, I've can. i already been everywhere that 99% of the people, guys, would never even see. I've been around already. I've already seen it. So I, I date a woman. Sometimes I'd be telling her, I, I could be telling her about all my experiences. Oh, I've been around this celebrity. Oh, look at me driving this car. Oh, I was here in this Vegas. Oh, I was in this million dollar home that everybody who lives in Vegas never even seen before and never will see. Yeah, I, guys, I've seen it all. I told you I was put to the test. I was put to the test. Don't think you get an anointing just because God like you. You got to pass a bunch of tests. You got to you got to literally get whipped across your back before God anoints your punk head. I told y'all this shit before. It's no joke. It's not no easy test. Most people fail this test. I passed it. That's why y'all seeing what y'all seeing. I told y'all find another YouTube YouTuber that's showing the anointing like I'm showing it. Please, y'all find one. You know why it's so hard to find? Oh, they out there. But then when you break it down into, well, how many people are actually out there and have a YouTube channel? Then it keeps dividing. It keeps fractioning and fractioning and fractioning and fractioning to, to it's barely nobody. It's probably the, the per, somebody who's like me who actually has a proof of this stuff is probably somewhere I don't even know. Uh, I don't know, three or 4,000 miles away from here or something. And, and not on YouTube, maybe on some farm. So you, you could be just some remote location. That's how rare I am. And I'm not even boasting, guys. I'm telling you the absolute truth. Most people are just not going to make it. Most people just still think that this devil has something to give them. I already know. That. So, so you know, I meet a woman. He said, "Man, that's a lot to ask. Give up my worldly, my give up my worldly endeavors to be submissive with you." Uh, yeah, because you be submissive to me, you're going to be saved like me. <laughs> Which one do you want? Do you want to have a few few years of trying to ch chase something that the devil most of the time ain't even going to give you? And if he do give you something, he's going to make you, he's going to punish you. He's going to sacrifice one of somebody close to you or do something evil to you at the same time. You never get nothing from the devil and get off scot-free. Only God can do that for you. You see, so if I meet a woman, yeah, sometimes it sounds like I'm boasting. I've been around this person. No, what I'm trying to tell you is I've been around that world. You don't want nothing to do with that world. And if you do something, uh, want something to do with that world, uh, you don't get it. You're, you're actually going to suffer. It's nothing. The devil is not going to give you. Yeah, you're going to get something, but you're going to lose some shit at the same time. Uh, God wouldn't do that to you. I already told y'all he has $17 million mansions on the other side of that ice wall ready for those who are the true believers. Y'all can think I'm crazy. Think what you want. I know. I know what I know. I got that from Tariq Hamza. They got $17 million mansions on the other side of the ice wall waiting for the chosen ones. Priced at $17 million. You will not be living in a house next to somebody. You will have land. You will have everything. See? Guys can take it or leave it. But that's what I just wanted to tell you all that, you know, as far as what would happen if a woman tried to date a person like me. I don't know what I'm going to title this video, but I didn't said about enough. I got to get back to work, y'all. And talk to y'all later. Peace.